Ben. New contract, how delighted are you to get that over the line? Yeah, I'm really happy. I think we've underperformed this year, but I think with a good window uh, this summer, I think it will be a really positive season next year, and I think we can definitely be pushing for playoffs at least. It shows real faith at the club having you well that they're rewarding you with a new three-year deal. Yeah, definitely. Um, and yeah, it feels good and hopefully I can perform even better next season and then help us get to the Premier League, which is where everyone wants to be. I think what it does do is it shows us intention as a club. You know, we want to retain our best players. Ben rightly so is one player of the season. Um, we believe that he's going to be a real asset for us as a club going forward and we think that he's got massive scope in terms of what he can produce for us and also I think he makes our team better. So all in all, I think it's great business, I think it ties it down. Just we do need a bit of stability in terms of personnel, in terms of the team and I think it's vitally important that obviously we tie down our best players. Ben really deserves his opportunity to extend his stay at the club. Um, his performances since I've been at the club have been, uh, been outstanding. Um, and obviously he's been uh, backed up by winning uh, Player of the Year award. So for us to secure Ben uh, for a longer time at the club, I think it's really good news for Stoke City Football Club. On a personal level, you've played a great number of games for, for the club this season. How do you think your season's gone personally? Yeah, I think it's gone pretty well. Like you said, it's the most I've ever played in a season before, so it's been nice to get that regular run of games and stay fit for as long as I have. Um, but next year I'm hoping to play as many if not more and at a higher quality as well so yeah always looking to improve and always looking to help the team get back to where we need to be. How important is that consistency playing every week? Very important it helps you learn and develop as a player far quicker than sort of being in and being out of the team so I feel like I've come a long way from where I was at the start of this season due to that good run of games so hopefully I can do that next year as well. He's had such a good season for us, albeit that we want to improve collectively as a team. But I think what it does do is it sort of hopefully shows everybody else who we'd like to, to attract to the club that we look after our best players and more importantly we're growing for the future and we're going to try and obviously improve as a group. So I think this is the right step in the right direction. We want to be proactive. So any business we can get done early, any kind of uh, exciting news and players that we can sign and get committed to the club, we're not going to wait about, we're going to be proactive going forward. That's certainly going to be um, my stance, that's going to be certainly our strategy um, and we, we want to do that straight away. The manager's had his time to implement his style of play and I think you've seen in a few of the games we've had towards the end of this season where we can, we've really shown what we can do and what we're capable of and I think, like I said, with a good window this summer, we can bring in the right players to have a real good go next year. I think he's grown into the season, you know, I think that um, as the season's developed, um, he's got better and better. I think he's more comfortable, he now knows exactly what I want from him in terms of how he plays. And I think that obviously his attributes that he brings to the team have been vitally important and they're going to be even more important next year and certainly going forward. I think it's a statement and indication that, yeah, we want to build a new squad and, and the squad that's going to be built is going to be around the exciting, attacking, uh, front-footed players that want to want to do the best for Stoke City Football Club and and the profile that Ben fits as a as a defender um, is certainly the profile we're looking to attract. So yeah, I think it uh, it, it makes perfect sense um, from a footballing point of view, but also from Ben's point of view, it gives him that security of uh, extra time at the club. An update from yourself: How are you feeling after your injury? Not too bad, thank you. Yeah, getting there like day by day now, um, slowly improving moving more, so yeah, it's getting a bit easier. What was you feeling like at the time? Because it looked a, a pretty nasty one. Yeah, I mean, when I landed, it didn't feel, it felt like a heavy landing, but nothing too out of the ordinary. But when I stood up, that's when it really felt the pain. And then, yeah, I felt like I was in big trouble then. Um, but yeah, a few days in hospital, and then once I got home, things started to get a bit easier. So yeah, not too bad. And you're on with the recovery now. You said that you're hope, hoping to be back for pre-season. Is that still the aim, or have, is it a bit up in the air at the minute? Yeah, I was told it should take about six to eight weeks um, from the time of the injury. So that should leave me with probably two weeks spare to get back in time for pre-season. So I've got plenty of time, really. You've had so many messages from supporters in recent weeks after your injury. How important are they going to be next season? Yeah, very important. Like uh, like always, home and away, we need that support. Um, and yeah, hopefully they can keep coming in the numbers that they do and then I'm sure we'll be fine.